Hey everyone, Mr. Justin here with the Hernando County Public Library System and thank you so much for joining us for another science video. And so we talked about cars and trucks this week with our craft and our story time. Well, we don't have a car and truck related science experiment, but we are going to be talking about a type of transportation or a type of vehicle or something that does move and that is going to be the rocket. So today's uh, experiment is all about rockets and we are going to make a straw rocket. So it's actually going to be a lot of fun and I hope you all like this one and so I don't know if anybody ever looked in the sky during a rocket launch and you can actually sometimes see the rocket launches uh, from the east coast of Florida here in um, Hernando County which is pretty cool and you have these big giant rockets and they're launching off and heading into space so have you ever thought about how those rockets launch and how that work well what happens is the rockets sit on the launch pad right and down at the bottom of them and there's our straw rocket right here you're going to have a lot of of like propellants down here and those propellants are going to give it the energy to move away from the earth's surface and with as we know with every motion when we have a motion every action will have an equal and opposite reaction so you have the burning of the uh, propellants which is going to then cause the rocket to kind of go up and blast off further uh, further away from Earth. Now the way it flies, a lot of it will determine obviously with gravity and with drag. The amount um, of drag will be uh, determine kind of how, how long it can fly, how far it can fly, so that's why we have to give it even more propellant so it can fight that gravity and that drag to make it off the uh, surface of the Earth and into space. So again, we're going to make a cool little rocket today. Um, now obviously um, we are going to not be using actual propellants and not burning anything today, but for this we just need some paper, tape, and a straw. So now when we have our rockets launched, that, op that upward force that the rockets launch with, that is called thrust. And we can do that again with the burning of the propellants will cause it to thrust up. And then uh, drag and gravity will try to, try to keep it down. So you can see that when we build our rockets today, we'll provide that thrust uh, ourselves and you'll see it come back down pretty quickly because of drag and because of gravity. So let's go ahead and build our first rocket. And again, we don't have propellants today. So what we're going to power our rockets with is going to be our own human power with our with our breath. So let's go ahead and make our first rocket. So you just need a piece of paper. I have uh, different colors of paper, but you can just do normal white computer paper, any white paper, and just have it kind of cut a couple inches, two to four inches across. And what color should we do today? I have all the colors here, but let's go ahead. Let's do green. And I'm going to go ahead and take a straw. You can also take a pencil. And we're going to put it right here. And we're going to roll it up and roll it up and just roll, keep rolling until it's completely rolled. And then this is where the tape comes in play. So we're going to take a piece of tape and we're going to tape that. You can remove the straw at this point. I'm just taping where the paper is loose. But if we keep it like this now, now that I've taped the strip of paper, if we blow into it, you can, you can feel the air on the other side. So what we want to do is we want to cut that off so no air can go through it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the tips and I'm just going to kind of fold it down just like this. And we're going to put another piece of tape on that. And if you blow into it again, you can definitely feel, oops, sorry. You can definitely feel that there's no air can come out through the other side. So that's exactly what we want. So then what we're going to go ahead and do, it's just gonna be our little test run. We're not gonna add anything else. We're just gonna see how it works to begin with. And whenever we do launch our straw rockets, just make sure you're not launching them towards people or animals or pets or anything. You can try it in an open, big open room. You can go outside too, but obviously the air is going to affect the way it flies a little bit differently. And then we're going to go ahead, like I said, put your little uh, rocket onto the straw and then we are just going to give a puff of air. 
and there it goes. And so when we gave that puff, what that did is um, that kind of acted as the thrust. Or actually what happened is when we blew it in and it kind of then had nowhere to go, so it came out the other side. And so that was the action. So our reaction then was to create the, was for the rocket to then launch off the straw with the thrust that we gave it with our air. So we'll try it one more time with this. Again, we put it on here and we're just gonna give a big uh, puff of air. And there it goes again. But you can see that when you fly it, it, it kind of veers off. It doesn't go in a straight line. But what we want to try to do is we want to try to kind of have it go in a straight line today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a tube that I created. And then we're going to add a nose cone and fins. So you can cut out little right triangles like that to make your fins. You can have either three or four, however many you want. I'm going to do three today. And then I'm going to have a shape that's going to look a little bit like this, which will be our nose cone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go towards the bottom. I'm going to take a piece of tape and put it on the end. Let's see how well this is going to work. I'm going to fold it like this, and to make it stick, I'm going to put another piece of tape. Let's see, there's our first fin right there. Let's go ahead and do our second one. And then I want to try to do, kind of put it at a nice angle with the, oops. The other one, I don't have that completely even, but that's okay. There we go. Let's go ahead and do our third one. Our third fin. Let's get our last piece of tape. And again, I kind of rushed through these, so it's probably not perfect, but it looks good. We got our, our three fins on our rocket right there. If it were up to me or if I had more time, I'd probably get them a little lower, make sure they're even. But I think they look pretty good. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead, kind of do our nose cone. Put a piece of tape on our nose cone. And then I'm going to take a piece of tape and I'm going to make it so it's sticky on both sides. I'm going to put it on here. And then we have our rocket right here. So let's go ahead and launch this rocket. Again, put the straw in, and we're going to give it a puff of air. <laughs> and there it goes. I needed a bigger puff that time. You can actually see it. I didn't have a whole lot of room in the room I'm in right now, but it definitely went in a straighter line, much more targeted than the other two rockets we launched went. So I thought that was pretty cool. When we do add the, um, the fins and the nose cone, it will change the way it flies. And again, when we do launch our rocket, the drag and gravity will cause it to fall and to stop its flight. And so what you can do is you can make a lot of little rockets. Uh, you can test it with different fins, with different nose cones to see how it all works. But again, and we talked today, we talked a bit about rocket launches. We talked about providing it, um, the thrust for it to launch off. And then, it, then drag and gravity will cause it to end its flight. And I hope everybody enjoyed it today. Again, you can make your own little rockets. And again, you can test with the way, you, the direction that you launch it will change the way it flies. Um, also, the type of fins and, the way, and just adding fins and nose cones, all that is going to change the way it works too. So thank you so much for joining us. And we'll see you next time for another science experiment.